Let's talk about tuning a reverb, in this case adjusting the parameters for a vocal. So what we'll do is we'll solo up the vocal and call up the reverb. In this case it happens to be a Lexicon LXP plate setting. I like plates on vocals. Here's a short plate preset with a short reverb time. Now up here you can switch between a medium plate, listen to the difference, longer time, large plate, Everybody left town. More reverb time. Except for me and you. It's a little too much for this song. Go back to medium. Just a Midwest girl. But short seems to work best in this just particular song. Out of place. Just adds a little space to the mix. Out here on your now with a lot of reverbs like this, you can cut the high end. Listen to this. Up in the race. It's sibilant up there. But one day Pull I it back. Your eye. That makes it appear warmer. I know it doesn't make sense. You're just cutting the highs of the reverb. Still, I thank my lucky star. Now let's take a look at pre-delay, which is the onset of the you delay before the reverb. Sent. Add a little more send. You almost don't notice it, but it sets the reverb apart from the actual vocal. The and one of the best ways to check that is to simply mute it. So let's mute the reverb. Time can play tricks on your mind. Obviously dry, but it sounds better with the reverb in. I'll constantly mute and unmute the reverb to make sure I'm on the right path. Take it from the same spot. Little less reverb time will be good. Nice and tight, yet ambient. If you feel there's too much, you can pull the send back a little bit like this. That's a nice level. Let's just listen to a large plate again. Gets a little lost in there in a good way. Let's exaggerate it. For me and you. Now it's too wet. Three seconds is a lot of reverb time for a vocal. Go back to the short plate. That sounds good every time. It means it's right. The thing about tuning reverbs is there's no right or wrong. Whatever sounds good for the song means it's correct. The next thing I usually do is listen to it with all the effects in, just the vocal. So we'll solo the vocal, reverb, delay, and filter delay. It's the fifth day of July. Put it back in the song. I guess we missed the fireworks. Now I'll mute all the effects and then pull them back in one at a time. Very subtle but nice. Aside of the delays and filter delays, I'll usually make the plate the most prevalent reverb in the mix. It's always time well spent tweaking the settings of a reverb on a vocal.